I wasn't that interested on the Silk Road, but I was very interested in what was Bitcoin. I'd never even heard the word before, which is surprising, given that I'm fairly up to date with most things. So when I researched the Bitcoin uh, subject, I then went down the rabbit hole, just saying, became interested. But the, the advantages, they are so crystal clear. I mean, it's so rational. It's cheaper, it's faster. I mean, you have all the arguments on the Bitcoin side, and there are not many points for the traditional banking system. What's interesting is like, you know, people think, oh, well, what's the challenge? You know, Bitcoin is a challenge to the banking system. Well, that's one way of looking at it, but when you think about the unbanked, actually, there's no challenge whatsoever. You're providing a service where the banking system hasn't even touched uh, people, individuals there. There are people spending billions of dollars, you know, $74 billion worth of fee, you know, fees that are being charged on, uh, on a 300 some billion dollars worth of remittance. So, uh, especially in poorer countries, the cost is even higher. Having a look at how people perceive reading money. So there are different ways to perceive it and they are polarizing more and more. There's people that find it extremely problematic, identifying it the very problems of our society. There's other people that have made it a god. It's not just about maintaining privacy, but it's about maintaining the types of communications that make of society that we sort of value possible. We do call Bitcoin the non-political currency, but on the other side of the metal, these are the things that make Bitcoin the most political, not only currency, but probably the most political thing we have so far seen in this century. And if we want to pre predict the future, we have to look at the past. Uh, the regimes of all sorts have targeted individual uh, individuals uh, in order to uh, to make sure that some movements don't go forward. And it has proven to be very effective, and it's a risk for Bitcoin itself as well. You don't need to kill the idea of Bitcoin, but you can do it in other ways as well.